Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. It's release day at Simon Says Stamp. The Dear Friend release is absolutely gorgeous, but my favorite is this beautiful large red rubber stamp peony background. Big stamps equal versatility. I love that there are many ways that this can be positioned on the paper creating different looks. That is exactly what I'm doing. The image is being stamped with Versamark ink onto Canson XL watercolor paper. The watercolor ink has some texture so the ink is applied a couple of times and I use a pressure tool to get a good impression. The panel is coated with white embossing powder. I like to do this over a coffee filter. It makes it super easy to get that powder back into the bottle. The process is repeated on a second panel. This time I've moved my panel right over so that I can catch the image on the left hand side of the stamp. To get the image impression edge to edge on the panel, it needs to be away from the sides of the misty. I usually use a sticky mat to keep the panel positioned so it will not move around and mess up the impression. Unfortunately, my sticky mat has lost its stickiness. Because this is a red rubber stamp and thick, the foam insert was removed so I was able to take some tape runner and just put a strip of adhesive down the center to hold the panel in place. While stamping my second panel, I had my heat tool off to the side, coming to full temperature. When I apply the heat, I do so on the front and the back of the panel, and both of these things will help prevent warping. I am a big fan of coloring with pigment powders, and today I'm going to be working with Lindy's Magical Powders, mermaid seashells. I'm going to start off with Glory of the Seas Gold and color the entire background. Water has been applied to the entire panel. Don't be shy when you're doing this. Put enough water on so that you get a nice sheen. I apply water to both the front and the back of the panel to help it lay flat. Using a small spoon, the powder is sprinkled onto the panel. A distress sprayer is used to apply water so that the powders are completely wetted. Then I use my watercolor brush and help move that color around. After the background has been completed on both panels, some paper towel is used to pick up the excess water. There's a lot going on with a background stamp. For the florals, I'll always start by painting the greenery. The Mermaid Seashells Pigment Powder set comes with five different colors. The leaves will be painted with sea mint green. For ease of use, I've placed the powder that I'm going to be working with onto an acrylic palette, which is off to the side and out of video range. In some areas, it was difficult to tell what was what, so as you can see, I've brought the stamp over so that I can refer to it as I'm figuring out where the leaves are. Having this point of reference really made this a lot easier. Painting with the pigment powders is much like the wet on wet technique using watercolors. I first wet the area that I'm painting and then pick up some powder on my watercolor brush, drop it at the base of the leaf or the flower petal, and then help move that color upwards to create some tonal variation. I chose a couple of color variations for the peonies. The peony that I'm painting now, I'm using Coco Bell's Coral. This is a really pretty peachy color. When painting flowers, I deconstruct them and work one petal at a time. Like the leaves, the petals are wetted and then the powder dropped in. For the petals that are laying more flat, that is referred to as open cup. And for those ones, the powder is put at the base of the petal 
and then the color is pulled up, but I don't take it all the way to the top. Because the background was done in that very soft yellowy peach color, I let that be my highlight on the peony. So as I bring the color up from the Coco Bell's Coral, I fade it out to leave some of that yellow peach. For those petals or partial petals that are curled, you do the opposite that you would for an open cup petal. The pigment powder is placed along the outer edge of the petal, creating the shadow area, and then working towards the inside of the petal, it fades out to the highlight. Some of the peonies will be painted with opal sea oats. I'm working with it right now. It's kind of a taupe color. It's really, really pretty. I love working with pigment powders. The look is very different from dropping that pigment powder on like we did for the background or painting it like we are for the leaves and the flowers. This is the very first time that I've worked with Lindy's Magicals. I love that they come in sets with colors that are coordinated to work together. Although I can't speak to all of the Magical Powder sets, I can say that Mermaid Seashells has a beautiful finish. Although difficult to pick up by the camera, in real life the finish is like satin. It is shimmery and beautiful. The result of painting with pigment powders as opposed to watercolor is quite different. The color is very saturated and rich. When I completed the painting on both of these panels, it struck me that they kind of looked like vintage fabric. I really like how they turned out. For just a touch of variation between the two panels, one was die cut using Simon Says Stamps A2 Thin Frames. The outside frame was first adhered directly to the card base, which is also A2 size and top folding. As I position it, I just eyeball it to get that white border more or less even around all four sides. The die cut produces an inner rectangular piece that is just slightly smaller than the frame. This has been mounted on white sheet foam and then centered in the middle of the frame. The second panel was cut to four inches by five and a quarter inches, like the first one, and I think I forgot to mention that. And it was just simply mounted on white sheet foam and then adhered to the card base. And to make sure that I have good contact between the foam and the card base, I just put it under some weight while I stack my sentiments. I chose simple die cut sentiments because I didn't want to detract from the beautiful floral background. Simon Says Stamp Script Hello will go on one card and Big Scripty Hugs on the other. Both sentiments were die cut and stacked four times to give them some nice dimension on the cards. And the cards are finished off with some beautiful Studio Kasha Cafe Au Lait pearls. And that wraps up this pair of cards featuring Simon Says Stamps Peony Background from the new release Dear Friend. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have never tried painting with pigment powders, give it a go. I think you'll really enjoy it.